Welcome to another edition of Get to Know Your Wayne State Football Program for the 2018 season. I'm Sports Information Director Jeff Weiss and joined today by Assistant Coach Scott Wooster. Thanks for taking time to join us, Scott. Thank you, Jeff. Hey, always fun talking the O-line. Yes. Um, obviously, last year going into the camp, you know, you're expecting Tommy Richardson to lead as a fifth-year senior. He goes down, never gets to play at all last year. You end up starting the year with a combined two starts among yeah. your five starters. And as we we're talking off camera, Greg Weber had those starts at center, not even at sure, guard. So sure. obviously that was a kind of a big blow to lose a fifth-year senior and then have to go with a much younger group. Yeah, and absolutely, because he was the only guy with experience, and he was the only guy that had been out there and done it. Uh, so to lose him, obviously that was a, a shot to us. But uh, the way the guys rallied, and, and if you watched us at the end of the year, uh, the way those guys came together, the way those guys really progressed, it was, it was something to watch. And then you talk about Tommy, you know, and we talk about the, the seed of equivalent benefit here. Uh, the founding principle of Coach Winter's program here at uh, Wayne State is PMA. And one of those thought conditioners is seed of equivalent benefit. Well, now Tommy's back for a sixth year. And the last time we had a six-year guy here, Nate he Nate. was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, a, he's now a New England Patriot, and, uh, and he was an absolute dominant force. And that's what we're looking for Tommy to be. I think sometimes when you lose something, that you love, you don't know exactly how much you loved it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that kind of happened with Thieker was he loved football, but when he had it off for a year, just like Tommy did, it gets a new, deeper, profound love and, and the work ethic and, and the, the intent and the just everything about the game elevates because I, I, I almost lost this. It was almost gone for me. So uh, really looking for some big things out of Tommy, and obviously it worked out for Thieker and it's working out for him right now in the NFL. So uh, same, you know, same kind of – expectations mm -hmm. I should say. Sounds great. Well Thicker I believe was the Gliac Offensive Lineman of the Year so don't want to put too much pressure no. on Tommy well, but I do. <laughs> okay. I do. He's that type of player and, and he needs those expectations uh, because he can rise to those and, and he's trained for that. Mm -hmm. You know we, we also say that you don't rise to expectations you sink to a level of your training. Well he's trained at that level and, and I believe that that's exactly how he's going to play. And he's also somebody that took care of business in school. He's already been in grad school and stuff like that. So that's yeah, he's going to, he's going to before he's done with the sixth year, he's going to have his master's. So it's a pretty incredible story. Sounds great. Well, we were talking earlier about only two sure. combined starts. This year now with Tommy coming in with 32 career starts and four other guys or five other guys that combined yeah. for 44 starts, now you have 76 combined starts. Not quite like it was two years ago, but getting to almost to that level. Absolutely. And these guys, I think this is maybe the most complete offensive line I've coached. Um, just from top to bottom, from left to right, and with the depth that we have, it is an incomplete offensive line. Uh, there's guys that, uh, you know, you don't have to say, hey, we're just going to run this to the left. We're just going to run this to the right. You can call and run it. And for Coach Winters as a play caller, that's a great sense of security that you don't have to think through that. You can just call and run it because we are a balanced, complete offensive line. Well, let's start out at left tackle, obviously, yeah. the blind side sure. with Israel Helms there. Let's talk a little bit about Israel. He got to start 10 games last year and obviously had an impact. He was, he's, he's the story of our process. Uh, when he came here, he's 248 pounds. The first time he stepped on the scale, he's 304 right now. Uh, just in, in, We used to call him the marionette because he was all arms and legs. <laughs> just this long guy, and he's just developed and, and trained and trained and trained and worked at it, and he's become... At times, those flashes of dominance last year should be consistent dominant play this year. And, and that should be, has to be consistent dominant play. And that's the way he's trained, and that's the way he's going to perform this year. You're talking about going left to right across the offensive line. Sure. Obviously, Israel at left tackle. You've got Tommy at left guard. Yes. At center, you have Charlie, Charlie. Younger. Two years ago, he was uh, playing as like a backup fullback right. to get some package. experience. Yep. Last year, he started all 11 games at center. Missed two been. reps all year. Yeah. It just incredible. He's. Uh, when we recruited him in high school from McQuanago, uh, the coach said, this is your dream kid, and that's exactly what he's been. Uh, incredible leader, incredible worker. He's got the respect, not just the offensive line, but the, the entire football team, the coaching staff. He's that guy. He's the center you want. When he makes a mistake, if it's a bad snap, whatever, if he calls the point wrong, he feels worse, and he puts more pressure on than I can put mm -hmm. on, and that's the guy you want at center. And it's not only on the football field, it's in the classroom, it's in the community. Just He's just a complete right. package. Just everything right. He's a, a special special young man. Now, at right guard, you had Greg Weber last year. Yes. And, um, Adam McJunkin, you know, can play both guards. Now, what are you going to do at right guard this year? We're looking at Lane Potter, uh, really solidified his spot there. We moved him in from right tackle, uh, which he started all 11 games as a true freshman last year and, and really did a nice job this spring. Now, you mentioned Adam McJunkin. Uh, without Tommy in the spring, 
because he was rehabbing that knee. Adam came on and did an incredible job for us. So there will be competition there. Um, he'll be able to spell Tommy, but he'll also compete with Lane in camp. But Lane had a heck of a spring. Another terrific young man, comes from a great family. Um, but just a, a terrific story as a true freshman starting all 11 games at tackle, uh, moving him inside the garden and, and from the weight room, just everything, how he approaches everything again. Uh, classroom, he's a 3 7. I mean, just everything he does. Community service, he's another special young man and a great football player. So, obviously, with Lane moving from right tackle to right guard, that opens a spot at right tackle. Justin Toxtein moving there? Absolutely. Yeah, so Justin, he could play both tackles, and there was competition there for him to play the left tackle. The senior Israel kind of edged him out, um, but he is going to be our right tackle, and he is an incredible athlete. Um, and he's really matured in a lot of ways. He's been through some really hard times, and he's really matured. And we always say it, the strongest steel comes from the hottest fires, and that's him. And he's, he's, he's stepped up his game. He's stepped up in the classroom. He's stepped up as a young man. And uh, he could be, again, I, we'll, we'll see it on the field, but he could be one of those special players too because as an athlete, just as a pure, not just a football player, but as an athlete, he's special. He, like the Tommy Richardsons, like the Thakers, like the Joe Longs. Uh, he's got a different level of athleticism, and he's got a mean streak uh, that, that goes on and on. So he's, we're really excited about him, and he's another. Uh, His locker really, wasn't too far away from Dates, was it? No, no, they're <laughs> the same type of aggressiveness on the field. I'll just put it that way because we're on camera, yeah. Sounds good. Well, obviously you talked about Adam as uh, yeah. challenging for some playing time. What are some of the other, maybe at tackle and center, other guys that Absolutely. we can look forward to so, maybe spell somebody? Sure. We got a, we got a, a transfer in uh, from Michigan Tech this year, coached his older brother, Alex, who's in medical school now. Uh, Alex Zetas played for us on that 16 line and rotated at center. And uh, like I said, he's in med school now. Well, his little brother is going to play right tackle for us, and he had a heck of a spring. A little undersized right now. He's light, but he's building that body up, working with Coach Mendoza, working with Coach Overland with the nutrition. Um, but he's another great athlete, great football player, and understands football. Loved coaching him this spring. Uh, the other guy that's really come on, a guy out of Fremont, Michigan, if you can tell me where Fremont <laughs> is. Um, uh, you know, we'll buy you lunch. Fremont, Ohio, maybe. Yeah, exactly right. Some good football players there out of Fremont go. Ross. Well, but. <laughs> now it's uh, Cooper Kukul out of Fremont, Michigan. Uh, just came in. He walked on for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to be a guy that's – you know, looking to maybe crack that too deep and get in that travel squad just because of how hard he's worked and, and all the great things he's done. Another guy that's been around a little bit, Chris Carter. Okay. Um, redshirted him this year. Um, nursing a little bit of an injury, but he's battled through it, fought through it. Uh, tough kid. And then the, the guy that I think could be the, the third man in is Reed Thompson. Okay. Uh, Reed Thompson's a dream teamer that walked out for us, earned a scholarship last year in camp, became our number two center. Uh, Luckily, we didn't need him, so we could keep his red shirt. But he's a guy that, you know, Charlie could move to guard. He could go to center. He could play guard. Mm -hmm. uh, just an intelligent very football versatile. play, a Very versatile, super intelligent, tough guy. Um, works hard, great in the classroom. He's a 4.0 his first two <laughs> semesters. Um, but he's a guy that is not just a, well, if he gets hurt, he's a guy that could put some pressure on Charlie in camp. Mm -hmm. And then he's the guy that says, all right, if we have to make some moves, He's ready to go. He was ready to be our number two center as a true freshman last year, and, and he's gotten that much better in this offseason. So I'm excited as heck about Reed. And th like you said, that depth, mm -hmm. again, um, you got seven, eight, nine guys that I really feel good about winning the championship this year. Um, let's talk about some of the other guys. I know another young gentleman that you registered last year was Ian Sharp. Yeah, and, and Ian got injured in, in, uh, in camp, came, or uh, camp in spring ball, came back from it. Um, was ready to go and then kind of retweaked it and had a surgery this summer. Uh, so kind of a hard luck story mm -hmm. because he had the other knee done in, in, uh, in high school. Okay. All right, so he's had both ACLs, was really coming on. And he's a big, strong guy from, uh, I guess it'd be Northeast Ohio, Youngstown <laughs> area, a uh, farm kid, love him to death, love his work ethic, love what he does in the classroom. Uh, but so kind of a hard luck story. Uh, but he'll be back and better than ever uh, with both of those knees being repaired now and being ready to go. Sounds good. Let's talk um, any incoming freshmen. Obviously, last year you had to play Lane as a true freshman, sure. and Reed was on the bubble there sure. on the travel list. Is there any true freshmen that might make the travel list, or are those guys just I need to get bigger a, and stronger? I hope it's an emergency. This year I think we're, we're in that position where we can be blessed to redshirt them all, and we're really excited about this class. This might be you know, everyone. <laughs> Every year is your, your best class, but this one might be pretty special. Uh, we got a guy, Kevin Sconing, coming in from Illinois. Um, versatile guy, can play right tackle. I think he can play both guards. Big, strong body. 
a heck of a worker. Another one, great athlete, multiple sport athlete in high school. Love him to death. Uh, Noah Nicklin out of Clarkston missed his senior year with an injury, um, but he's rehabbing right now. We probably won't do much with him this year. Get him ready to compete in camp. Uh, but he, he played tackle in high school. He'll kick inside. Uh, just a kid that loves football. He's another culture kid like Charlie and, mm -hmm. and those type of guys. Lane that just does everything right and is a heck of a kid. Um, we got Keontae Watson coming in from the west side of the state. Signed two from Mona Shores. Keontae is an incredible athlete, like freakish athlete. Uh, looking at him at like a, a tackle. Mm -hmm. um, got some work to do on his body. Uh, and that's made a living off that with Coach Mendoza and Coach O and those guys in the, in the brand new weight room. Um, but as he gets bigger and stronger, he's going to be really exciting. Um, and then the other guy that's coming in from Mona Shores, uh, Chucky Anthony, uh, had an injury in high school too. Kind of a uh, tough situation. Uh, yeah, a really tough situation to say the least. Um, but he's rehabbed from that, playing a couple all-star games. Uh, he's a guy that could play D-line too. He's a versatile guy, but a, a smart football kid, loves football. Another great kid, a culture kid, um, looking at him at center down mm -hmm. the road. Um, the other guy would be uh, Dalton Thorner. We're bringing Dalton in um, uh, from Yale, Michigan. A tough kid, farm kid. Dad's an iron worker. Love that that type of thing. And then finally, we're bringing in right down the road Josh Mayberry. Um, who Josh Mayberry is is what you want in a guard for us. Mm -hmm. Super powerful. Has great play speed. Can get down the field and get after guys. So really excited about this class. Extremely excited. And then we're going to add a transfer too. Uh, Landon Mitchell's going to come in. And uh, probably going to redshirt this year. Uh, didn't redshirt at his previous school, uh, but we're really excited about him because I think he's a very similar body type and player to Lane Potter, that type of body. Big, strong, physical kid with great athleticism. Um, so a year from now, we'll be talking a bunch about Landon. Oh, sounds great. Well, thanks again for watching this edition of Get to Know Your Warrior Football Program.